Uh, my name is Olivia Cappy Smith. I'm with the Democratic Socialists of America, uh, and I'm going to read a statement from our National Political Committee. Ahed Samimi is a 16 year old Palestinian girl living in occupied Palestine. She is also a political leader, a global symbol of resistance to occupation and oppression. Palestine is under Israeli occupation, and last month Ahed was filmed standing up to Israeli soldiers at her family home. Israeli forces had recently shot her 15 year old cousin, Mohammed Tamimi in the face with a rubber bullet at a protest against U.S. President Trump. When the soldiers raided her home, Ahed resisted. She defended her family, her land, and her people. For that, she now faces 12 charges before an Israeli military tribunal for everything from incitement to rock throwing. According to Haaretz, the Israeli military tribunals deal with all criminal and security cases involving Palestinians from their detention through their appeals with 99.7% ending in conviction. Rock throwing alone carries a prison sentence of up to 20 years. Though she is young, Ahed has long been a leader in the struggle against the oppression of the Palestinian people. In yet another example of the United States government's alliance with the occupation, Ahed was scheduled to participate in a January 2017 speaking tour, but the U.S. government put a hold on her visa and she was unable to attend. We unequivocally stand in solidarity with Ahed Tamimi and all those struggling for the liberation of the Palestinian people in occupied Palestine. We also stand with the 63 Israeli youth who recently wrote a letter refusing to serve in the IDF. We recognize our government's active collaboration with the occupation and oppression of the Palestinian people, and we are actively working against it. Ahed must be released from custody immediately with the charges dropped. So too should the hundreds of other Palestinian children held in military detention. We must actively work as U.S.-based activists to uplift Palestinian voices and activism in their struggle against decades of imperialism and colonial violence. We stand with the struggle for freedom, liberation, and self-determination, and we believe we will see the day that Palestine will be free. Yeah. Yeah.